Hi everyone, welcome back to my watch channel. So today I'm going to do a quick uh, watch talk on one of the recent new release, or rather upcoming release by Tissot. So this is their new chronograph collection. So the model number for this Tissot watch would be the Tissot PR516. So as you can see from this, uh, let's have a look at what Tissot has in store for us for this upcoming new release. So this is actually a uh, chronograph watch that is very similar. It reminds me of the Omega Speedmaster, the way that it's designed with the chronograph brochures as well as the very nice looking bezel over here. So uh, something different is that uh, this watch actually is based on uh, racing uh, it's a, like a racing series design and then um, water resistance is at 100 meters so it's much better than the Omega Speedmaster's 30 meters of water resistance. Yep, and it looks really good. So let's have a look at the functions of this watch. So the watch size is as emphasized here as 41 millimeter case with a very nice sapphire glass box and full open back. So you can see the automatic movement in this watch. So apparently this ETA movement is a new chronograph movement, full, fully automatic chronograph movement that is being used by Tissot. And the power reserve is around 60 hours, um, 60 plus hours. Yeah, it's a very nice watch and it comes with a variety of strap options. You can have the metal bracelet as shown here, or you can fit it with a leather bracelet or even a black rubber strap. So I think this looks really nice. And I think the black leather strap also works well in this watch. There's actually two types of movement that's coming up for this uh, watch. So you can have the quartz movement as well, the mechanical and the chronograph quartz movement. So let's have a look at uh, some of the color options of this watch. So the PR516 comes with a quartz and mechanical version. And for the quartz version, you can actually choose between three colorways, the black and white bezel or the gold tone uh, chronograph. So this is something that looks like the C-star, uh, two-tone C-star. And also you can choose to have this uh, blue color as well. For the mechanical chronograph, there's only one color option, which is this color over here. And you can also check out some of the detailed specifications in the Tissot website. So I think this is a very nice watch, very uh, refreshing. So far we have, for automatic chronograph, we only have the PRX uh, chronograph. I think this design is something totally new. And I think many watch lovers will really appreciate the 100 meters of water resistance. So it gives them the additional uh, safeguard against water activities. So some pictures of the watch, very nice uh, detailed showcasing of the case back. So again, water resistance of 100 meters and having a sapphire crystal really helps. Yeah, so as you can see, Tissot also uses their proprietary uh, quick release system for the straps. So you can switch out the straps really easily without any tools. Yeah, so I think all in all, this is a very uh, exciting release by Tissot. If you are a chronograph lover, I think you will really like this watch. Price for this watch is around, uh, let me check, it's around 2,600 SGD for this watch in the automatic version. If you're going for the quartz version, it will be around 700 uh, plus dollars. For the two-tone chronograph, it's $55 more than the standard edition. So personally, I think I like the two-tone uh, version. I think it looks really classic. And uh, it has really a nice uh, case back design as well for the quartz version. Yeah, this is something refreshing and something new from this so
And one thing I like about uh, Quartz movement from Tissot is that they actually comes with an end of life movement. So over here, you can see uh, this description is this Quartz EOL. EOL stands for end of life. And what you need is just a battery, Renata 395 uh, battery. And it can easily last a few years, minimally. You will know when to change the battery when the second hand of the quartz movement starts to jump every two second intervals. So I think this is a very nice uh, feature that Tissot has. Just one thing to take note of uh, for the quartz version of the watch, okay, it comes with a 40 millimeters diameter. So just one millimeter smaller than the automatic PR516. So the automatic PR156 comes in at 41 millimeters, but I think the difference is pretty much in this screen, indistinguishable. Yeah. The lux for the both uh, watches, the automatic and the quartz edition, okay, both will be at uh, 20 millimeters. Yeah, so no change for the lug size or rather the lug width. You can swap out the uh, metal straps or the bracelet interchangeably. There's no difference between the uh, both of them. So just a very slight deviation for the case size, just one millimeter larger for the automatic version. Yeah, so I think this is very exciting release by Tissot. So uh, do let me know what you guys think about this uh, new release from Tissot. Do you like it? I think personally it looks like the it has the Omega Speedmaster vibes and yeah it's very interesting release by Tissot. I didn't expect them to come up with this but I think it's very refreshing that Tissot keeps surprising us with very new and interesting designs and yeah I look forward to more re uh, new releases by Tissot. And that's about it for this episode of the Watch Talk. And I'll see you guys very soon.